do you want to deploy a front end app from a turbo mono repo to aws amplify in minutes let me show you how to do it very quickly so this is a application that i deployed using aws amplify uh, this is one of three different front-end applications so i'm just going to look at the front-end applications today and then maybe in another video we'll look at how to deploy a back-end application from a mono repo so let's dive into it so i'm going to show you my code editor this is the structure of my uh, mono repo as you can see we have some of the basic things like a turbo uh, turbo json file which is created automatically when you uh, use a create turbo to bootstrap your mono repo structure most important thing is under the apps so under the apps you would have your distinct applications so i have three sorry i have four actually four front-end applications the back office the customer app the home app and the property admin app and all of these apps are distinct in that they have their own node modules all of them have their package of json so they're all separate apps so one of the things that we should note is that mono repos are not monoliths meaning that things are not tied together the main reason i'm using a mono repo for my application is because i want to be able to have changes across um applications in one commit so i'm the sole developer so i don't want to be jumping from app to app going from place to place trying to figure out oh what change do i make here what change do i make here what change do i make here i think that is premature optimization and i don't want to do that at the beginning of the project so i decided the mono repo is best for me so i have four front-end applications and one back-end application all the front-end applications are you are using next.js so all of them are built using next.js and the backend application is Nest.js. So I'm going to show you how I was able to deploy the front-end apps using AWS Amplify. It's a service on AWS that allows you to easily push and deploy your applications. Um, and I'm going to be using it just for the front-end applications because they don't really have native support for Nest.js. So I would be using a different uh, AWS service to deploy the backend application, which is a server application over here. So I have the front end um, app, which is this home app. I have this, which is this uh, home. So I'm going to in, I'm going to show you how to deploy the other apps. I'm going to do a customer app so that we would see how to do that with uh, next. With, sorry, with AWS Amplify. So let's let's head into that. All right. So this is the basic structure of my home app. First of all, I would show you the build settings, which is something that we're going to use. I'm just going to copy this for now, and then we'll go back to the apps, and then I'm going to create a new app to so bootstrap your application, and you have it on GitHub you have to have it on github before we can even start this process because aws amplify would hook into your github or gitlab like they have different um providers here git providers or you can deploy without git but i would prefer to use github because it's easy it's simple and i think every de every developer in the world probably knows how to use this so i'm going to go with uh, github and then I'm going to authenticate my GitHub account, which I've already done. And then step two here would be to select the repo. So I'm going to select um, my mono repo. And then I'm going to select the master branch. And I'm going to tick this because AWS Amplify has support for mono repo. So I'm going to tick this and then I'm going to add the roots directory so for my mono repo i want to uh, deploy this application called customer i've already done a uh, home so i want to do customer so i'm going to say it's apps is under apps slash customer 
which is apps here slash customer so next and then I'm going to edit the YAML file here. So we see a couple of things. I'm going to change a couple of things at first. So first of all, the app root. This is pointing to the... I'm just going to paste what I have. So the app root here is pointing to the directory that we want. So for us, it's going to be customer, which is app slash customer. And then we have a couple of other steps. Uh, we have just some basic stuff to help us install um, npm which is what i'm using it's a lightweight version of npm no big deal so what i'm going to do here in the build under the build commands i'm going to add a command to cd backwards so that this command can be run i'm going to change this to customer so that this command can be run in the root of the mono repo which is where we want it to run so because we've added the app root this is compulsory right so we've added the app root to be app slash customer meaning aw um the amplify uh aws amplify has seeded into apps slash customer so by the time it comes to this build it wants to build the it's already in apps slash customer rep, um, folder so we want to backtrack so that we go to the root of of the folder of the money repo and then we would run this command which is pnpm turbo run build so we're going to build the application using turbo and then we would add this filter which would filter to just the customer app which is the app that we are trying to um, deploy right now so some of the artifacts which are very important the base directory is that it should look at the next dot next folder inside of apps slash customer right and then we have uh, this to look at all the files and then we have a cache entry where we just want to cache some things so that whenever this application is run again it has this cached right so i'm going to save this and i'm going to go to next and then we'll just show like a review of everything uh the repository the app that you want to deploy which is the mono repo app um and some basic things so okay i'm going back a moment okay so app slash customers yes so i want to rename this as the living customer this is what i wanted to do so next and then we save and deploy so AWS Amplify has started to deploy the app and it would soon show us like the uh, deploying status so we can follow the build and the deploy branch. So you see it's done in two minutes and 13 seconds. And then now it's deploying the app. So this was pretty quick. Um, I was able to show you how to go very, very quickly uh, with deploy your apps. And now we have the domain so we can visit the domain real quick and we see we have customer app and here we have home app so this is a very very easy way very quick video on how to do this uh, swiftly if you got value from this video consider giving it a like subscribe and drop a comment uh, on how this helped you and have a good one